Hi Scorpio, welcome back. So Scorpio, this is going to be your reading for the week of uh, May 19th. Um, not going to be for all of you, but if it does resonate, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. If you're new to me, also check out my social media account links down in the description box below for more fun stuff. And you can also book a private reading right there. Actually, my private readings are um, booked right now. But FYI, the link, if you wanted to, when they're not booked, is below. So, Scorpio, let's see what you're dealing with this week. Um, you actually had two cards pop out for your overall energy there when I was shuffling, and it's the Knight of Wands, which speaks about action. I like that. And then the Page of Cups, which speaks about friendships. So some of you might be taking action um, literally in the friendship arena, might be making new connections or reconnecting with friends. Um, I feel like Scorpio, you've been kind of in like a wait and watch type of mentality uh, in the past energies, or at least in the past readings. And I see in the overall energy that shift is changing. So ready to take action this week, ready to make some movements. And that's, that looks really, really good. So I like that. Um, so let's see what we get out here for Scorpio, sign of Scorpio, past energy, please. Oh, your cards shot out of the deck here. Okay. Past energy for Scorpio. So, um, Scorpio, past energy. You've got the Knight of Wands again. So that's a repeating message, a uh, different deck. So I always like to make a note of those. So I feel like the, that's important, you know. Even... If you're not intending on maybe taking actions on your goals or relationships, I feel like then that's the higher guidance that that's what's missing or that's what you need to pull you out of whatever cycle or rut you're in and get you moving to the next uh, chapter here. So I feel like in the recent past, you might have been um, wanting to do that actually, but then kind of holding yourself back. So it's followed by the Four of Cups and then the Two of Wands in the reverse. Sorry, the Three of Wands in reverse. So it's like wanting to act on something, but then kind of pulling yourself back a little bit. Um, and I, I just feel like um, it wasn't the right timing. Okay. This is in the past. And or, you know, you were making movement forwards, but then I feel like it's like night and day energy. It's like uh, taking action. Yes, I got this. Look at me, you know, feeling good. This guy's riding a unicorn. I've actually never seen that before. <laughs> it's a unicorn, not a horse. You know what I'm saying? Feeling like a unicorn, you know what I'm saying? And then look at how gray this card is. It's the total opposite. So I feel like you might have been bouncing back and forth, Scorpio, between uh, feeling like a unicorn <laughs> and then the total opposite of that, feeling detached, feeling indifferent, feeling lost. You know, and because of that back and forth energy, it stagnated you, okay, um, from making any actual progress. So, that's the past energy. The good news is that's in the past. So, let's see what we have coming on, coming in this week, darlings. Um... Oh, I couldn't get that card off the floor. All right, so starting the week, you have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. All right, then you have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. And then you have the Karmic Wheel in the upright. So that's good. So um, there's a couple different ways I can read this. I'm going to keep it general, and then I'm going to break it down into groups at the end. But I feel like starting the week out, again, not really not really making any major movements, okay? 
Um, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse is someone who is capable, certainly capable of taking care of themselves. And Scorpio, of all the zodiac signs, I can tell you I never met one Scorpio in my life who couldn't take care of themselves. Like they're very, they're very independent sign. Um, and they like to be alone. They like to take care. So I, I feel that vibe coming into this week, you know, kind of wanting to be left alone. You know, it's particularly at night um, is probably when you do the majority of your thinking, rehashing, um, Mm -hmm. So, also, I don't know why I've never seen this in the card before. Some of you might be getting messages at night. Okay, that's a very specific message. So, this is a side note. Some of you might get messages or be sending messages at night. Like when everybody's asleep. So, I feel like this is something that's going on on the DL, you know what I'm saying? Like on the down low. Um, that doesn't mean that it's cheating or anything. I just see that and I have no idea why I'm seeing that, but it's a side note and only for a few of you, but okay. But anyways, I feel like Scorpio, you're overall, you're just in this energy of, I almost want to say like contemplation coming into this week. I feel like, you know what, you, you've kind of put your intentions or your wish out there and I don't feel that you saw maybe the results that you wanted in the past and so there's a lot of very skeptical uh, there's a very skeptical vibe coming off of you this week about not ever feeling almost being afraid to put yourself out there again whether that's been failed relationships in the past or in the career sector but it's almost like well, you know, the last time around that did not pan out. I did not get what I wanted. And um, so I don't know if I want to put myself out there again, you know. Um, but I feel like the overall message is to not let that fear stop or consume you from following your passions and your desires. And so if you're not coming out of that energy this week, then the guidance is that that's what's needed, okay? So don't let uh, past regrets, past failures, anything like that, you know, don't ever let fear get in your way of taking action on things that bring you passion or that you feel deeply about, okay? And um, I feel like that's an important message, Scorpio. So I do find that in my own interactions with the sign of Scorpio that a lot of them have somewhat a fear-based type thinking. Not all of them. So if you don't fall into this category, then just skip over this part. But I do feel that there is a very skeptical nature to Scorpio. Very skeptical, especially if you're not vibrating high. And, um, you know, every zodiac sign you have high and low vibrators. And some that go back and forth between high and low. You know, you have good days, bad days. But I feel like that skeptical nature almost stops you from acting on or doing things that would probably bring you a lot of joy because of fear. Um, or it's like, because you're so skeptical about it, you think about it a lot, but then you never actually act on it. And so you miss the window of opportunity. Okay. And so that was important to say. So I feel like in the past, you might have done that. I do feel that as past energy, but you know, don't allow that to stop you from accessing, you know, your higher vibration accessing opportunities that are available to you, expressing how you feel, acting on the things that you want, okay? Tangent over. All right, so towards the end of the week, <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. What's this? The Seven of Wands in the reverse. And then the Hierophant. So I feel like much better energy. I really, really like this Scorpio. 
I feel like towards the end of the week, you know, you're working on that. You're, you're working on yourself. You're working on things that you enjoy. Some of you are really um, also working on either a career, craft, or investing money, or you need to be. I feel like you're finally putting your defenses down this week, which is great <laughs> because it's these defenses that you've had that have worked for you in the past, okay? They may have prevented some unnecessary pain in your life, but now I feel like having those defenses up all the time is actually causing more pain in your life, okay? Because it's impeding your progress. And so I feel like I saw in last week's reading that you were gonna have a moment of like enlightenment or like a pause where you saw something from a different perspective. And I feel like you've decided, okay, I just, you're either throwing in the towel on something you didn't want to throw in the towel on, but wasn't serving your higher purpose, or you're finally letting that guard down, you know, not assuming the worst in everybody, uh, not being overly skeptical, um, but still being logical minded. Okay. Because you do have the hierophant here, and this is someone with a higher knowledge, um, someone who's very stable, someone who is the teacher, not the one being taught. And so I feel like it's like taking the wisdom or taking the lesson and utilizing that, but at the same time, softening up your energy a little bit, you know, um, being more open to others, being open to new connections, um, that kind of thing. So I, I like that. I really like that. Okay. Because like the last two or three readings, you kept having, uh, a very negative vibe either you were having a very negative vibe or you had someone in your life that was bringing that energy to you but I do feel you're walking away from that um, and yeah so that's general energies and now I'm gonna get more specific and I'm gonna go into love and then I'm gonna go into career you can be in both groups or just one of them take what resonates I'm gonna start with love um, just keep in mind that love can pertain uh, yes to your intimate partner, yes to exes, but also family, friends. So choose what resonates, okay? As it pertains to love, I feel, like I said, that same energy of finally letting your defenses down. Now, some of you are letting go of someone that you had a hard time letting go of, period. <laughs> you might have gone back and forth between wanting to, oh my gosh, I just heard something terrible. This person right, might have really pissed you off in the past. I, I don't even want to tell you Going back and forth between wanting to like rip this person to pieces is what I heard. Like, <laughs> and then being indifferent to it. Wow. So if this is you and this is a specific person that's really, really made you angry in the past or made you want to do something super impulsive, but you kind of knew you would regret it. So you held yourself back from doing it. And instead you might have decided to just kind of keep an eye on this person, you know, see what they're up to. Not all of you did this person make you mad, make you mad, but I specifically heard that. That's actually I buffered what I heard. I don't want to say what I heard because it was gruesome, and I don't know where it came from. But mad enough to want to, yeah, tear this person a new one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For those of you where they didn't make you mad, I just feel like you went back and forth between wanting to take action towards this person and then kind of being like, oh, just forget it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you might have gotten yourself all hyped up to finally take action or do something and then you talked yourself out of it. You know, like wrote a text and then you didn't send it or, you know, like drove past this person's house but then you didn't stop or something like that. Okay. You know, and then you just, I feel like <laughs> it's very specific. Or somebody might have done this to you. Remember, it can be interchangeable. Keep that in mind. Um, but I just feel like coming into this week, you 
you're letting that go. It's like you're throwing in the towel. You know what I'm saying? It's I, I do feel like you keep an eye out for this person if, to see if they're going to come back around. Okay, but I don't see that occurring. And I think that you're tired of waiting. And so now you're just like, well, all right, so... I'm just going to do me now, I guess, or <laughs> I'm going to work on this other relationship I have or this other part of my life, whatever it may be for you, you know, and like, yeah, just kind of like throwing in the towel. But in actuality, by, by doing that, by changing your energy, by letting it go on an energetic level, the need for this person to come back or the need to wait, or because there's a lot of negative energy that was surrounding that. So if you were waiting for someone or watching or something to do with that, it was keeping you stuck, okay? And almost like in a, a repetitive cycle of like, uh, wanting to take action and then changing your mind. Wanting to take action and changing your mind. And I feel like it drove you insane, you know? Or you were driving yourself insane with this. Or this person was. If it's not you, they were driving themselves insane with it. And somebody's decided to change that and just kind of like, you know, I'm going to let it go. And when you, the moment you do that, Scorpio, the moment you do that, it changes. <laughs> and I feel like then you get all of this fast moving energy, this light energy, new opportunities, new friendships, new connections, reconnecting for some of you, you know, because the energy has shifted and you're open to it. And so when you're open to it, it's easier for things to come in. Okay. And like I said, I see a lot of you shifting your focus, okay, to work, to home, to, um, for some of you, you have another relationship here that's much more solid, or you have a partner here that brings you stability, and that's helping you move past whatever this is here, okay, it's helping you to walk away from it, to walk away from the need to some of you are waiting for um, an apology or communication from this person and you waited and you waited and you waited and you waited and it's not coming, you know, it's at least not this week, it's a weekly, but, or this person was waiting for you and it's not coming. You know, so sometimes we have to move on and not like, um, not expect other people to always see their part of it, you know, or maybe this person did see their part of it, but they just don't want to communicate that to you for whatever reason. And no sense in waiting around for that. You know what I'm saying? Or like maybe you do see your part in a Scorpio, but you just don't feel the need to communicate it because it's a done deal. You know what I'm saying? Like however this is resonating for you. And I feel like that's a good thing, actually. It's a good just to move past it, you know, because you actually have good energy coming here this week. And honestly, after your last few readings, I was kind of dreading doing this one <laughs> because they've been so negative. So I like this. I, I do like this. I think, it, you know, that's good. That's good. Um, if this is career, so that was love. If this is career, I feel like kind of similar there was a lot of inconsistencies here between like blazing your own trail and then getting lazy with it. I don't think Scorpios are lazy at all. I think Scorpios are generally very hardworking people. 
but it's almost like if it wasn't I, I feel that here though I feel like there's a, a if it's not laziness then it's just like lackluster you know what I'm saying <laughs> like you're gung-ho one minute and then the next day you're like screw it I'm not going into work you know <laughs> And then the next day you're like, I'm going to run this business one day. And then you're like, no, I want to sleep in. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> there were some inconsistencies there. That's just an example. But the overall word that I heard was inconsistencies. All right. And getting things off of the ground. Um, and I, I just feel like this week you're refocusing that energy. Like, okay, I've got to do this. I've got to get this done. I have got to focus. Focus, 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 you know, and uh, also I think it's helping take your attention off of what's going on in the love area of your life. So that's good. Um, and I feel like there's a lot more structure here this week, which is nice. Be open uh, and on the lookout for possible new business connections this week. OK, um, but you're not going to find those connections sitting around at home. So you need to get up. You need to get out. You need to get moving. And towards the end of the week, I see that you're going to be doing that. So that's good. Get up, get out, get moving. Know what I'm saying? So, Scorpio. Uh, zodiac signs you might be dealing with this week. Uh, these could be signs you're dealing with and or placements in your chart. Take what resonates, but I have fire here, so Aries, Leo, or Sag. Uh, possibly another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And then Earth, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus are the primary zodiac signs I'm seeing here. So it looks good. Looks good. Continue to um, move that energy. Okay. Um, and I wish you all the very best until next time. I love you, Scorpio. Namaste. Bye.